now earth was formed evolution started human beings formed when the human beings were existing over this over this planet earth they had to frame or choose the location of a particular place that suppose i am saying that you are sitting in my front or someone is sitting on my right so what is that i am using myself as a reference point to say that you are in my front or you are at my back you are on my right or you are on my left so when i am using a reference point then on pract in practicality on the surface of earth what will happen if i am this suppose this is earth this board is representing earth and here there is a point now how to give the exact location of this particular point that will become slightly dicey what is the exact lo location of this particular point it will become slightly dicey we will not be able to say because we are not having any other point or any other reference line so at, in order to solve that if we have to find a pinpoint location of this particular point we have to fix the values on x axis we have to fix the value on y axis and as a result if we will get a particular coordinate a particular value of y and a particular value of x will give us the exact coordinate of this particular point so what we need we need coordinates horizontal axis and a vertical axis for in order to solve this problem that mumbai is located on which side of delhi or kanyakumari is located on which side of srinagar in order to solve this problem this entire earth was divided into few lines few horizontal lines which represented the x axis and few vertical lines which represented the y axis are you getting that those lines which were formed horizontally or vertically they were called as latitudes and longitudes how the lines were drawn try to understand that suppose this is an apple suppose this is an apple or a ball anything and i take a knife and i slash it out right and cut it into two equal halves can you imagine that i am using a knife in this manner i am slashing this earth in this manner the front 50% of the earth falls off and the inner side of the earth will be visible to you can you imagine that clearly yes okay now when this problem of latitudes or longitudes or horizontal or vertical lines had to be solved out the initially initially what the geographers or the scientists were knowing they were knowing about the north pole and the south pole they were knowing about the two points because earth was rotating in this manner when the earth was rotating in this manner what is the point in the north about which the rotation is taking place what is the point in the south about which the rotation is taking place that was known clear on that when anybody is rotating so this is the point about which rotation is taking place this is the point these two points were known when we know two points can we imagine a straight line joining north pole to south pole so initially a straight line was imagined connecting north pole to south pole clear on that once you know the starting point and the ending point of any particular line can the midpoint of that line be calculated so the midpoint of that line was calculated on the midpoint a horizontal circle was imagined and that was named as equator are you getting that so initially north pole south pole a line connecting north pole to south pole yahan se nikle yahan se jaye yahan se jaye from any of the side any line you can imagine it is not necessarily crossing india africa or uk or any other place imagine any any of the place so line connecting north pole to south pole was imagined center of that line was calculated a horizontal circle was imagined on that particular center point and that was named as equator that horizontal circle divided the earth into two equal halves the upper half and the lower half clear on that that was called as equator clear okay now i explained to you that i am using a knife i am slashing earth and the front part of the earth fells off and now the inner earth is visible to you in the same manner as you cut an apple into two equal halves so the inner white pulp of the apple that is visible to you can you imagine that suppose that white pulp of the apple or the earth is is this one this round circle so this round circle is visible to us after we have slashed the earth into two equal parts so there will be a center point over here right and on the surface this is the point through which our circle equator is going 
this is the center of the earth this is the point where equator is running equator is running over here yes or no so equator is running in this manner you have slashed some part so when the inner circle is visible you can see a equator point over here you can see a equator point over here these are the two points if they are connected with a straight line right and now you simply place your protector protector which is used to make angles with its center point on c and suppose you mark an angle of 5 degree over here you mark an angle of 5 degree over here right and connect it with a straight line so this becomes 5 degree north latitude are you getting that even on the lower side suppose you mark an angle of 20 degree over here and you mark an angle of 20 degree over here and connect it with a straight line that will represent 20 degree south latitude are you getting that so in this manner what they did center this is center this is zero degree at every one degree one two three four five six seven eight nine ten in this manner they marked up till 90 degree are you getting that they marked in the same manner from here also and whether you come from this side or you come from this side 90 degree would be one in the same it will not be two different points 90 degree will be one in the same so the last point which was over here was 89 degree and the last point over here was 89 degree are you getting that and 90 degree from both the sides was one in the same so right from here up till here each and every line with a difference of one degree was named as one degree north latitude two degree north latitude 30 degree north latitude 45 degree north latitude and finally 89 degree north latitude but when we came to 90 degree then what happened from this side and this side it was a single point it was not a line because 90 degree from here and here will be same so you cannot draw a line when the point overlap each other for a line to be drawn you need two different points and two different points were not available so 90 degree north became a point it is not a latitude it is a point clear on that able to understand everyone in the same manner if you move in the southern hemisphere or in the southern part here it was 90 degree south and after a gap of every one degree a latitude was formed in this manner and you got the formation of latitude so 89 latitudes in northern hemisphere 89 latitudes in lower part and one is zero degree and 90 degree north and 90 degree south are not latitudes they are simply points clear on that so how much how many total uh, total number will be what 89 over there 89 over there and one zero degree makes up 179 the total number of latitudes which are present on the surface of earth for our reference for our consideration are taken as 179 clear on that any questions any doubt up till now 100 percent now let us understand the longitude Hundred percent clear on latitude? No doubt. Okay. Longitude had to be framed because horizontal lines were decided in this manner. Now the vertical lines had to be formed. So vertical lines were to be formed, and the reference point was again North Pole and South Pole. For horizontal lines, what they did? They connected the two points, imagined a line at the center, and then divided the two equal halves into two sets of latitude one on the northern side one on the southern side for longitudes what they did they imagined the line that was imagined passing through this particular region north pole to south pole that was imagined it was starting at north pole and it was terminating at south pole so how to divide the longitudes for what they did what they did exactly suppose this is a point any of the point this is the point right the total angles about about a point is how much 360 degree the total angle about a point is always 360 degree now what they did they imagined a line at every one degree can you draw a line at this point at every one degree yes or no at any point at every one degree a line can be drawn so at this particular point 
थ्री सिक्सटी लाइन कैन बी ड्रॉन यस स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम जीरो टोटल नंबर ऑफ लाइन विल बी ड्रॉन इट मीन्स एट अ डिफरेंस ऑफ एवरी वन डिग्री अ लाइन इज मूविंग आउट फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट राइट इमेजिन दिस पॉइंट टू बी नॉर्थ पोल नाउ यू आर हैविंग द नॉर्थ पोल ओवर दैट यू कैन सी सो सपोज दिस पॉइंट इज नॉर्थ पोल एंड फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट एट एवरी वन डिग्री अ लाइन इज मूविंग आउट कैन यू इमेजिन दैट from this north pole or uh, at every one degree a line is moving out and where is that line going it is converging that line is converging back on south pole so whether you imagine it as north pole or you imagine this as south pole it will hardly make any difference same point for north pole same point for south pole so a line radiating out at every difference of one degree is starting from north pole terminating at south pole or vice versa starting from south pole terminating at north pole these were called as meridians of longitude are you getting that so how many drawn at every one degree and the total angle is 360 so how many longitudes will be there starting from 1 2 3 4 5 6 finally 359 after 359 0 and 360 will be one in the same so total number of longitudes will be 360 only are you getting that yes in this manner longitudes were drawn now which to take the which longitude should be named according to jaise for we we were dividing latitudes it was easy to divide on the northern side as north on the southern side as south it was clear no ambiguity no confusion that is north that is south 50% of the earth north ho gaya 50% of the earth considered as south but when it was vertical lines starting from north pole to south pole they have to be divided in terms of east and west yes directions are clear to everyone these are the four directions that we use this is called as north this is called as south this is termed as east and this is termed as west along with that we use this direction which is termed as northeast this south east this south west and this north west are you clear these eight directions will be sufficient for us to study the entire section of geography so when we are saying north south east west you should be knowing that clear so the demarcation as per equator was clear that upper side of equator was north lower side of equator was south but when it came to longitudes so how to divide the east and west because earth is continuously rotating something that is on the western side is becoming east it is again becoming west west east it is keep it keeps on changing so which place to decide as east or which place to decide as west that was the problem when that was the problem it was solved out or it was finally accepted globally that a longitude which is moving from north pole to south pole and it is moving through royal british observatory close to london that to be considered as a reference line are you getting that that to be considered as a reference line a reference line for what reference line this one so it will be called as zero degree from zero degree now imagine that imagine is this aluminium rod visible to all of this globe aluminium rod visible to everyone so this aluminium rod is suppose considered as 0 degree right and here you are having the north pole aluminium rod is representing 0 degree 1 degree 1 degree 2 degree 3 degree 4 degree 90 degree 135 degrees finally exactly on the back side will be 180 degree yes or no so if 0 degree is there in your front if you start moving on this side on this side exactly on the back side will be 180 degree so they started dividing the globe or the earth in this manner and named it as 1 degree is 2 degree is 3 degree is and finally reach on the back side naming it as 180 degree is longitude are you getting that clear on that after reaching the back side they took a pause and came back to the starting point 
and they started naming 1 degree west, 2 degree west, 3 degree west, 4 degree west and finally reached again the same line that is 180 degree longitude. Are you getting that? Why did it that? Because Europeans are in the habit of keeping themselves at the center of globe, in the center of everything. Earlier, Pope used to say that, that sun revolves around the throne of Pope. You know that? That was a common saying. Pope used to say that the sun revolves around the throne of Pope. It rises on one side, sits on the other side and encircles the throne of Pope, where a Pope used to sit in Rome, Italy, right? The first person who claimed that it is not the sun that is revolving, it is the earth that is revolving around the sun and rotating was hanged. Yes? So it is a general tendency to keep, and it is generally a human tendency to keep ourselves at the center stage. Everyone wants to occupy the center stage. So the Britishers, they were the most advanced, they were the most learned people, so they kept themselves at the center. And the longitude passing through Green, uh, Royal British Observatory that is in Greenwich close to London, the longitude passing through that region was marked as zero degree. And then after gap of every one degree, they marked longitudes and finally reached the opposite side marking it as 180 degree. They were moving on the eastern side. So they marked it as 180 degree east. Then they started on the western side and marked the longitude as 180 degree west. 180 degree east and 180 degree west will be one in the same. It was already marked as 180 degree east. So in general nomenclature, it is considered as 180 degree east. However, if it is written as 180 degree west, even that cannot be ruled out, cannot be considered as wrong. So 179 longitudes on this side, 179 longitudes on this side and finally 180 degree on the back side which is considered as generally as east. Clear on that? Sure on that? So to pinpoint any of the location you need a value of latitude, you need a value of longitude and by the intersection you can get to know the exact coordinates of a particular place. Clear on that? 100%? Sure on that?